quick. Um, VizGrep is a visual grep, so if you have something on the screen, you should be able to search it if it's like a repeating pattern. So I'm just going to... Um, Scrot is a good screenshot. program. So now I'll have a screenshot.png. So I'm just going to use Google and open that. I can pick my rectangle tool, zoom in. pick what I'm going to be looking for and really you could get just like the Google part but I'm getting the whole thing. Copy it. Paste it into a new image. Now I'm going to save that. It has to be a PNG, otherwise VizGrep will not be able to do anything with it. And now you can't read the PNGs by itself, so X Automation, which this all comes with, except for Scrot, Scrot's its own program, Scrot. Scrot. But for um, handling the PNGs, you have to go into png.2pat or png2pat and then do the PNG that you're working with and then pipe it into whatever you're going to be using and name it .pat. Now I have a .pat file which it's just what VizGrep uses. So if I do VizGrep, screenshot, Google search, pat, then I get the mouse position of where uh, the top left corner of this Google search was, of where I started my my cropping job of the Google search. So if you do X to mouse move 520 452 should take me right yep right to where it's going right to where it saw it on the GIMP on the uh, screenshot that Scrot took. So using this it's pretty cool and the negative one well uh, the man page for VizGrep tells you that the negative one shows that you it used this as just a search box and then you could have searched within this but I haven't found any single incident where I needed to do that so to get a non-negative one um, Answer. You can do VizGrep screenshot, Google search dot pat, Google search dot pat. Let's get this that pat, and now you have five twenty four fifty two zero. And so the zero implies that it was a correct find. So if you do scrot. Then if is grep if is grep screenshot png and you're looking for a Google search dot pat and do the do it twice so that it's gonna return a non failed exit code 
if it does find it, then <sighs> you can have co chord x equal is grab screenshot g Google search pat and pipe into said which I think I took out commas made them spaces and I took out the let's go to a new line then took out the space or the uh, space zeros all together because I don't care that it found it. It's not part of my x coordinate. And then I should be able to pipe that into cut. Use the space I think I have for the delimiter. And then do F1. So it picks the first field for the x-coordinate. And forget, remember to close that. Chord y equals... And this is basically the same thing. Except we're going to go for the y-coordinate. And I actually want this negative 1 because I'm only typing gook search dot pat once. could type it twice and then you would be taking out zeros which would show that it exited properly finding it of how I did that delimiter for cut. It might not be quite like that. I'll find out. Okay, so now you have x and y. So you can do the x to mouse move. Oh yeah, and that has to be double quotes because you're expanding the variable. So that should be proper. Oh, yeah. We not only want to move the mouse next to mouse click one. So we'll do an empty Google search. Just for example. Okay, so, oh, nope, my delimiter was different, messed up on that. Okay, and it worked. It's doing an empty search, but you can see from the box that it clicked and it moved over to the Google search. It does go to the top right corner. I can do that again. Okay, this grep. Now if I run bash, this grep. And it clicked. Cool. So that's how you use it.